Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, welcome back to Jolin's Gamecast. Today, I've got something to show you. Yes, we are back in Space Engineers, or Space Engineers, of course, uh, and I have a ship to show you. No, it's not the red ship. Um, in fact, it's one of those, but um, I just blew the reveal. If we have a look down here. Dun, dun, dun. What is this, Jonathan? Well, well, actually, in fact, it is my model of the space shuttle from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And one episode, I think one episode, of Star Trek The Next Generation. That's right, it is a Danube-class runabout. And um, so I've seen a lot of these online and um, in Space Engineers, and... They're all the small ships, and I'm like, no, 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 I can do better. Um, and so I have. So we'll just do a quick tour. So this is large blocks. Um, what is currently missing is, as you see on the front here, there's a gap. Um, I did have a Star Trek weapons mod installed, but it's currently not installed on the server. So, of course, that did not load. Um, but that is where I had two phaser cannons, uh, which I will have to show you at some other stage. So, um, yeah, so... The other obvious point, I guess, right out of the bat to point out is it's not perfect. Nothing is perfect. I mean, technically, I mean, I can, I'll, if you give me a second, I can paste in a comparison right now from an actual photo. Uh, the nacelles are obviously a little bit wider than they would be in real life, uh, but I do like the camo. Isn't it awesome? So let's have a look inside. Oh, and then, of course, the other thing is, is that at the moment, they've got just standard game thrusters and the engine nacelles and the actual warp drive in inverted commas um i've got a gravity drive in here and not being rather than being in the nacelles for weight and well complexity wise they're actually in here right next to the see there's the artificial mass blocks and in fact there's the one of some of the gravity generators there so they're there right next to the center of mass just so that's, that's easier to calculate even then uh this does have a control problem which I'll talk to about in a minute. So we're just going to come inside here. Um, I don't have any um, mods at the moment. Oh, I'll just close the door. There we go. So I don't have any mods at the moment for consoles. So it's just all the standard Space Engineers consoles. Um, but what we do have here is a transporter. Uh, okay, so that's my little rendition of a transporter. Um, in the middle section we've got a medical bay which you can't see because I went in the wrong side. Um, so in the middle section there's a medical bay here, uh, which is functional. I can change my color because we're in um, that mode, you know, uh, creative mode. And then if we come through here, we'll see the midsection, which um, in the TV series was normally laboratories or cargo or something else. But this is the, um, the warp drive, the gravity drives. Uh, which I first put on backwards and it would only go backwards um, in like full speed which was hilarious got um, some entirely redundant uh, conveyor system power generators are above it and then we've got the off system now I don't currently ooh, lost the gravity I don't currently have a lot in here um, the server that I'm on at the moment with my friends we've got bunk beds and like armory and all sorts of stuff but at the moment it's just plain in here so um yeah but the, you know you get the idea this was where the living quarters was in the, the tv show um only ever i think it was it was only ever seen in the next generation but don't quote me on that because you know star trek but anyways let's see how this thing handles well if i can get in the doorway um is that door closed it is so T. Excellent. We'll bring him back up the, the HUD. So at the moment we have torpedoes in inverted commas, which is the standard rockets. Um, the phasers aren't currently loaded because we're missing the the mod on the server that has phasers on the front, but they were really cool. Um, and yeah, so let's um let's let's take it out for a spin, shall we? Oh, I um, just like to point out the cool coloring on the lights. Yeah, so this is a Danube class roundabout with the torpedo pack on the, the top. Obviously, there, there there were versions in the TV show that didn't have the torpedo pack. Um, obviously, you can't run this with um, 
thruster damage on, otherwise that would be bad for your ship, because it would just all blow up. But, you know, it's great for creative or survival when you don't have that. Oh, here's another one I prepared earlier. Yeah, um, so probably the coolest thing, other than, you know, this, um, is the warp drive that I built into it, which of course is inspired by my friend Dan's warp drive and by a lot of the warp drives in the game. So, um, so how it works is the artificial mass blocks activate and they are acted upon by gravity generators that push it in the direction of movement. And I'm going to show it to you now. So I've actually equipped this um, as a group um, and we've got see warp number three and it's just the gravity generators here and the artificial mass block. So without further ado, one, whoops, that's the wrong button, one. So this particular version has a bad habit of um, slightly pitching up. See, now we're at maximum speed. We can actually turn the gravity generator off. Yeah, so it accelerates in, what, 10 seconds? I don't, I'm not sure how much that was. Decelerating is a little bit slower. Um, gotta watch out for that. Can actually turn around. Whoa. Maybe. Where is it? There we go. And turn the walk track back on. It is on. Yep, it's on. We're coming. Back on speed. Um, it rolls, it fires, and we can turn the speed off. It doesn't decelerate quickly. I mean, it's pretty good. I've made worse. Um, yeah, so that's my Danube class runabout inspired by Star Trek D Space Nine. Um, if you would like a copy of the file for Space Engineers, I'd be glad to send it to you. It's amazing. And in fact, I think. Perhaps not this version, but an earlier version is currently on the Steam Workshop. But I'll probably update that soon, because, yeah, update it is better. Oh, it also has a proximity alert system! I forgot about that. But anyway, so that's my Danube class runabout. Hope you guys like it, feel free to like the video, and I will see you next time.